hold our disbelief. Is this Tyler speaking? The one who keeps his eyes on the floor like they're carrying something heavy? Voice rattles the window. I am free now. Body quivers with the pulse of each word. The sun's joy melts. Oh. Fingers trace the curve of his jaw. My aunt's face was warm as a water heater when she let us in that night. Our boy is done. His transformation complete. Step one, write it all down. Step two, read out loud. Step three, cut the fat. Step four, read out loud. Step five, add flavor. Tyler's first poem takes residence in his heart. He flings his arms wide like an open door. Welcome home. So what you are about to see is a bit of that too. You ladies have perfect timing. Um, so poetry speaks to us in very, very different ways. You have a poem sitting on the page, but part of part of the joy of poetry is also seeing it. So what you have today is we've got um, Caitlin Devin, of course, and Abby. Um, who have pieces that they're working on for forensics. And you guys heard a little bit about forensics at the assembly the other day. Um, and so you hopefully know a little bit about what that's about. So they, they, you guys just started, what, a week ago? About, yeah. About, about a week ago. And some of the, one of the pieces you've heard before, because we've done it, in, you've heard it in class somewhere in America. Um, the other piece isn't. It's interesting too because I the the piece that they're working on directly connects with some of the conversations that we've had in here, both about school, about America, about the American dream. Um, so I'm gonna let the ladies take it away. Again, kind of keeping as you guys listen, keep in mind sort of how poetry affects us differently than does other pieces of writing. Hello. Uh, if you don't know me, which I'm pretty sure you all do, because I know all of you. It's Abby Reed, and I'm a senior here. I've been in the project program for four years. Then I'm a sophomore, which is their first year. So they're my little babes. I think I'm all they need to know. We're going to give, obviously, somewhere in America, they'll be second. And then, but first, we're going to give America's on sale by Alex Olson. And these poems are really talking about the fact that America isn't as perfect as we always think it is. And what we make it up to be isn't the truth. And so, this addresses some of the problems. And I really hope this gets you guys interested into, if not forensics, public speaking in general, because it's a very good skill to have, and you're going to need it when you decide to grow up and get out of high school at some point. And you can take it with me, because I'm the one that teaches it. <laughs> okay. Attention shoppers. Attention nine to five folks. Cell phone masses. The up and coming classes. Attention sports utility. Plastic surgery surveillance. Stockbroker sleepwalkers. Attention George Clooney loonies. Come see for she. <laughs> Stockbrokers and walkers. Big investment talkers. Ricky Lake watchers. Attention Walmart congregation. Shop to you drop generation. Attention, Attention nation. nation. America's on sale. We've unstocked the welfare pantry to restock the Wall Street gentry. It's economically elementary because values don't pay. Yes, American dreams are on permanent layaway. There was limited availability anyway. The Statue of Liberty is being dismantled, $10 a piece to set on your mantle or hang on a wall by the small Somalian child you bought from Sally Struthers. Sisters and brothers, it's now or never. These deals won't last forever. America's on sale. Restrictions may apply if you're black, gay, or female. And shoppers. Global perspective is 99% off because most of the world don't count to us. Our ethnic inventory is low because moral business has been slow. The values company is moving to Mexico, and all ethics must go. It's a remote control America that's on sale because standing up for justice can't compare to clicking through it from a lazy chair. Answer. Jerry, Montel, Oprah. Question. Folks who really care, $4 million. In this new McVeggie burger world order where the mainstream scene has an alternative theme, where national health care is 100% off and Medicare is in the 50% bin. So you can buy half an operation when America's on sale. There's a closeout bid to determine which religion will win, all the neon flashing signs of sin. The Christian coalition is bidding high, and shoppers, you ask, why? Who needs a higher power when you've got the purchasing power to corner and market one human mold? That's right, real family values are being undersold. 
and it's an open hunting season for the NRA. There's a special Uzi discount only today. Gun control? We say, screw it, blow it away. Because inflation is up on the CEO ego and power is deflated as far as we go. Nike bought the revolution and law schools bought the constitution. Tommy Hilfiger bought the red, white, and blue. A flag shirt for $50? The one being burned is you. Marlboro bought what it means to be a man. Lexus equals power, so get it while you can. Maybelline bought beauty. New York bought Rudy Jelani. MasterCard Gold bought the national soul. Broadway bought talent and called it yeah. The Republicans bought out the Democrats. They liquidated all assets in fat white donkey sale. Now it's buy one schmuck, get one schmuck free in the capitalist party. And there's nothing left to get in the way of a full blue light blowout of the U.S. of A. There's a no-nothing back guarantee, a zero-year warranty when you buy this land of the Fritos, Ruffles, Glaze, the home of the Braves, the Chiefs, the Reds, the Slaves. So call 1-800-I-don't-care-about-shit. Or www.screwallofit. To receive your credit for the fate of our nation, Call now, which has been all time, well. But hurry, shoppers. Because America's being downsized, citizens, and you're all fired. Here in America, in every single state, they have a set of standards for every subject, a collection of lessons that the teacher's required to teach by the end of the term. But the greatest lessons you will ever teach us will not come from your syllabus. The, the greatest, greatest lessons you will ever teach us you will not even remember. You never told us what we weren't allowed to say. We just learned how to hold our tongues. Now somewhere in America, there's a child holding a copy of Catcher in the Rye, and there's a child holding a gun. But only one of these things has been banned by their state government. And it's not the one that can rip through flesh. It's the one that says F you on more pages than one. Because we must control what the people say and how they think. And if they want to become the overseer of their own selves, then we'll show them a real one. And somewhere in America, there's a child sitting at his mother's computer, reading the homepage of the KKK's website, and that's open to the public, but that child will never have read to kill a mockingbird, because the school has banned it for its use of the N-word. Maya Angelou is prohibited, because we're not allowed to talk about rape in school. We were taught that just because something happens, doesn't mean you are to talk about it. They built those brand new shopping malls so that we'll forget where we're really standing. On the bones of the Hispanics, on the bones of the slaves, on the bones of the Native Americans, on the bones of those who fought just to speak. Transcontinental Railroad to Japanese internment camps. There are things missing from our history books. But we were taught that it is better to be silent than to make them uncomfortable. Somewhere in America, private school girls search for hours through boutiques trying to find the prom dress of their dreams. While kids on the south side spend hours searching through the lost and found. Because winter's, winter's coming, coming soon and that's the only jacket they have. Kids are late to class for working the midnight shift. They give awards for best attendance but not for keeping your family off the streets. These kids will call your music ghetto. They will but they will tell you you don't talk right. Then they'll get in the back seat of a car with all of their friends and singing about how they're about that life and we can't stop. Somewhere in America, schools are promoting self-confidence while they whip out their scales and shout out your body fat percentage in class. While the heftier girls are hiding away and the slim fit views can't help but giggle with pride. The preppy kids go thrift shopping because they think it sounds real fun. But we go because that's all we got money for. Because Mama works for the city. Mama only gets paid once a month. Somewhere in America. A girl is getting felt up by a grown man on the subway. She's still in her school uniform and that's part of the appeal. It's hard to run in knee socks and Mary Janes. And all her male teachers know it too. Coaches cover up the star players raping freshmen after the dance. Women are killed for rejecting dates. But God forbid I bring my girlfriend to prom. Girls black out drunk after the party. Take a picture before her wounds wake her. How many pixels is your sanity worth? What's a 4.0 to a cold jury? What'd you learn in class today? Don't walk fast. Don't, don't speak loud. loud. Keep your hands to yourself. Keep your head down. Keep your eyes on your own paper. If you don't know the answer, then fill in C. Always wear earbuds when you ride the bus alone. If you feel like someone's following you, pretend you're on the phone. A teacher never fails. Only you do. Every state in America, the greatest lessons are the ones you don't remember learning. Nicely done, guys. That was awesome. So I also do the link if you guys want to watch it too. Um, so thank you so, so much. What are some of your reactions, guys? I still, I still can't believe you guys have only really been doing that for like a week and a half. It's impressive. Did I just when she gave me this really scary look?
Yeah? I was afraid. Who gave you a We took out one. Oh, 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 yeah. If you don't know Miss Shannon, yeah, that is a thing for her. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, you do not swear. She does not swear. You cannot talk. You cannot talk sex. That was really, really good. I can only imagine what next week is going to bring as you guys are doing it. So, bravo. Bravo. All I can say is that you guys should really consider if you're really not into forensics, which is fine, it's not everybody's thing. Please, please, please get interested in public speaking or just give it a chance because public speaking makes money. People get paid just to be able to talk in front of people, and it's really not that hard once you get over it. It takes a little time, but the nerves do go away, and then you can talk in front of a classroom or strangers or a school full of people. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Woo! Yay! No, we like us. No, no. I love doing it. You got I know I did. What am I asking you to do? Oh, yeah. Main way of the block. Granted, we don't have a whole lot of time. I'm going to put up on the screen the reminder what you need to do. Essays should be peer revised. Where can I find you? I don't know. So you want to have your partner go through and give you some feedback? Oh, where? Where do you want to go? Oh. There's your reminder on the screen. Thank you. We've done a good chunk of this already. So you have highlighted your thesis in yellow. You got your strongest sentence in green. At the top of the page, you've got three areas that you specifically want feedback on. And that's not just for the partner that you're sitting across from right now. That's also from the other class of students that's going to be reading your essays tomorrow. So what are the things that you want specific feedback from them? So you're going to go through and give your partner feedback using the peer revision sheet that I handed out yesterday. If you, like I said, I noticed there were a couple of copies that were left here. If you need a copy of that, I'll come around with them. There's always extras right up in here. Um, that way you've got feedback from a partner in this room about things to fix. We um, also are going to be getting feedback from Ms. Swinehart's class. The way that that works is it is anonymous. So I've noticed that on some of your essays, and I'll pull them over so you guys can see them, uh, we have names on them. That would be the antithesis of, of anonymous. <laughs> so what I'm going to have you do, I'm just pulling up somebody with a random one right here. Um, it's, it doesn't matter what it's titled. So this doesn't matter. No one's going to see this because they're going to be printed out. But where you have your I name, <laughs> where you have your name, put your ID number there. Okay. I'm going to be printing these out tomorrow morning when I get up. I usually get up about 4 a.m. So they'll, I'll be printing them out and we'll be trading them with Ms. Swinehart's class tomorrow morning. Their class is going to go through them. And I believe she has all of her ninth graders before seventh period. So you'll actually have yours back by tomorrow. So you can take them home over the weekend and make any corrections that are suggested by the ninth graders. Um, Ms. Swinehart is also going through specifically with them as well. I got to see a peek at some of your essays, which we're going to be looking at. Oh, you guys are going to have so much fun with them. I'm not going to lie. Because it'll be a peek back. They're just, it's, like I hate to say it this way, they're cute. Um, it's a look back at the way that, that you guys wrote kind of coming in to 10th grade. And some of the same things that we have talked about, things like never start your conclusion with in conclusion. Mm -hmm. Oh, the number of essays that start in conclusion. It's an enter, not backspace. I always start mine all in all. That's all I yes. ever start mine. Oh. <laughs> um, this is perfect. Cassidy, I'm snagging yours. Look at what Cassidy's done here. She's got her thesis already highlighted. She's got hers already double spaced. You want to make sure that if you haven't got yours double spaced, the way to do that, again, you just can go up to edit and one of the buttons there is select all. Um, one of the um, options that you have, that little one that's got the arrow next to it, oop, that's your line spacing one. You just hit double space and it double spaces it. Hers was already double spaced. If you haven't added a header, you're going to want to add a header. The way that you do that is insert. And I know you want to hit header down here, don't. Hit page number. It's that first one right there. But of course, instead of adding in your last name, because again, that would get rid of the anonymity factor, you're going to end up typing in your ID number right before it. So whatever your ID number is, 
make do a dash and then page number. And we'll switch it out later when they're actually completed. That way you've got your header in here, you've got your information up at the top. Um, Cassie's done this exactly, oops, almost exactly right. Oops, almost exactly right, because it goes your name, or actually in this case, ID number, then my name, oopsie, fixed. Then the course title, and then the date, and this is so persnickety, but I know Mrs. Schweinhardt, love her, but she's persnickety. Um, you gotta do day, then month, then year, no commas, that's MLA format. So day, then month, then year. So if you're on yours, you get a quick fix it right now. This is exactly right, and then your three, you've got three suggestions. They will have the same peer revision rubric that you guys are using, they're gonna have that too to give feedback. So they'll have your essay, the peer revision rubric. Any questions that would benefit the class? I can insert a header. You cannot insert a header. So you go insert. I did. And it's like page number. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't have to do First one. Yeah. Perfect. And then right before you type in your ID number. You got it. How do you like? Wait. Yep. First one is page number. Yep. Uh, you do Oh, is it? Yeah. Hi, Ellie. It makes me want to cry sometimes. Now, the other piece to kind of keep in mind, too, um, is I know, actually, I had a really interesting upstate New York but uh, Wi-Fi is not always it can be kind of spotty in some places especially if you're out a little more rural the school is open we're all here the teachers are all here until three something today um, my room will be <coughs> locked the computers here if you want to use the computers you're welcome to stay here you're welcome to use the ones across the way in the learning center um, they'll be open for you to use too because you've got that time so if you happen to have you're like I know my Wi-Fi at home is not as great and you want to you're welcome to do it here. It was an interesting conversation. There's a school in upstate New York. I was on a TED Talk thing. They have similar issues with us that their school district, the farther out they get, the Wi-Fi spotty. So what they did was they put wireless routers on all their school buses, and at night they park their school buses all around the county so the kids get free Wi-Fi. Yeah. Oh, Isn't that smart? Where does this go? Kind of exposed. Wait, the... Yeah. Well, the other problem that you got to look at is that people well, 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 you do oh, in a hard time. Yeah. You know, okay. yeah. Is some people can't even afford shoes because you want to You know, and there's Congrats. so much going on in the school that's so Wi Fi dependent. They, 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 they say Wi Fi, but this would be bad. Oh, I heard. I was talking to a right, guy yeah. We have uh, committed to uh, century link as well. Wait, where are you guys going? Yeah, yeah, it's really yeah, yeah, it's really yeah we're in the middle of the Dagon Pacific Ocean tractor. All right. No, it's not so bad. They just built, they just built a new power. We've been trying to get Wi-Fi at our house for years and years. And years. Um, and we got a landline to this uh, really off the wall company. Uh, for the we can't use the phone, but we're using the Wi-Fi. You lost your first chat? So because it was the same line as your phone. Those are my Well, when they built that tower, we could get our phone. Oh, which was exciting. Two years, man. Oh. Oh. That was really good. I like, I'm triggered by how horrible that is. Do you want to cover one of the So what I'll do is I'll 
Hey guys, um, so I had really two really good questions. One was, I don't worry about my essay, which I was essentially that's what I boiled down to. Don't forget, these are still drafts. If you need help, take a look. You have access. You can see everybody's essay in the classroom. Older, so feel free to kind of take a peek at what like sure. helps. Two, if you Google of Life and Men online text, you can get the free PDF version and control F we'll search it for any quote you need. Two, the other question was, I don't think I'm going to have it all taken by. Ah, it'll be a down. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave here about 6 oh, or yeah. 7 o'clock. I'm going to come in the morning or two. This is always open as well. That's a good one. And if you haven't picked up on the fact, that the vocab words up there are the vocab words that will be on your test test next week. What? We have a class that we do. What are we doing? Which class? We're going to review it. Next week. Awesome. Awesome. And then we get to start hockey for triggers. Squeal, please. Squeal, please. Please, 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 please. Morning, staff and students. Here's a reminder. Uh, there is a sad meeting after school in this building room. Plan for sad next week. And have a good evening. No, so you can back to the <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tara, but now we can't just try to sing and I'll pull down your shirt. They're gonna stay in the Well, I know, but you're gonna keep Go, 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 go,
Welcome to Ionia. <laughs> <laughs> well, last time I did a yearbook it was 1990, and we literally had to like cut out the pictures and do the layouts. We never, we just did the pictures. I'm like, I don't, I've never done it. Either. Oh, can I still email you my letter? Yeah. yeah I'm not gonna mail them out till tomorrow morning anyway. Okay. So I'll send that to you tonight then. I'll send no, no rush. You're good. Yes. Apparently the NHS hours were also due Monday. Oh yeah, that's right. Miss Shannon said that. Yeah. Completely forgot she was saying we should end up reminding students. So I was like, yeah, same. All right. I'm at 94 hours, and I need 100 for gold. So this morning I just turned at 20. Nice. How do you? One problem. They were due Monday. This is I do. How do you need hours of anyone I know? You volunteer more over at Green Acres. I have 20 hours. Oh, I was going to oh, say. Actually, I'm not sure. I know, right? I'm going to say 20. Right? Um, 26. All right. Thank you, though. Yeah. You could run around all the teachers, and I'm just like, I'm all right. <laughs> I know, for all the time. If it went to every single other SPLA teacher. With Miss Wettles. Miss Ford. Shattuck. Oh. I have 72. Actually, Why? No, I don't care. Hey, when do you hear back on the scholarship stuff? For which one? The ones that I don't, I'm not sure which one you were applying to. The Isri one with yeah. six grand? Do you have more with more? Uh, have a good one. You too. I don't think I'll be in a month. And did you apply for the one that's through the Education Association? <laughs> which one? Um, I think it was one, I think and maybe it was for people going into education. Because right, that's what you're doing. And it was through the, I'll ask. I think your name must be on the board. Because we were going, that's part of what we have to do today is go through and figure out which students are getting like all the Ooh. awards and stuff and some of the scholarship stuff. Okay, thank you. I, no, I put in for elementary. Nice.
would somebody perhaps have grabbed it for you?